guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Superior Spider-Man issue 18, part 2 of this whole Spider-Man 2099 story arc. Before I start talking about that issue, let's talk about a couple updates. First update is that I have four exclusive comics for Comic Uno episode 14, and that's the show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show. And exclusive comics are Venom issue 41. Um, Daredevil issue 31, and um, I have two exclusive Villain Month issues that are going to be on Comic Con Episode 14 and in-depth reviews on Dark Vendoring, because we are covering every Villains Month um, issue um, throughout all the reviewers on Dark Vendoring, and these are ones I'll be contributing with, and that's The Flash, uh, The Rogues issue 23.3, and um, Detective Comics Scarecrow issue 23.3. Uh, so definitely, if you want to go check out those in-depth reviews and Comic Uno episode 14, Comic Uno uh, episode 14 will be annotated, and of course, go check out Dark Man Drink. Uh, but let's talk about Superior Spider-Man issue 18. Um, cool cover, I guess. You know, it's kind of the same thing we've been getting. It's like, oh, you know, Miguel's here and Superior's fighting him with a white background. Um, yeah, it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of plain. Stegman's art, like, I like it, but I actually like Ramos a little bit better for uh, Superior Spider-Man. I'm definitely the minority on that one, but um, I don't know. I still like his art, but I, I kind of like Ramos a little bit better, maybe because we're a little bit more used to that with Amazing Spider-Man. At least, again, the minority on this one, I like his art a little bit better. Um, but let's see what's going on with the story, see if I like that. Um, so, in this issue, we get to see um, Superior's just trying to figure out who this Miguel guy is. We don't get to see a lot with Superior. We still get to see his, like, oh, I'm superior than everyone. Um, he wants to move out of Horizon, uh, so he's going to try to do that because he has his thesis paper there. He believes if um, Liz Allen's company takes it over, he won't have a thesis anymore, and it's brilliant. Uh, so he gets fired by <laughs> Horizon Labs, which definitely he deserves it. Uh, but people are getting a little bit more fishy of uh, who Superior Spider-Man is, especially Miguel. He's like, you look like Peter, but you're, you're not acting like him. Um, so we get to see that a little here. Um, and then, of course, Miguel has that mission of trying to save his grandfather. Uh, but his grandfather actually screwed up with the present day because he had the whole um, Alpha Particles or um, Parker Particles. Um, and uh, that was affected because he pressed some button, so that's affecting this time stream here. So are the Horizon Lab scientists going to try to um, affect this? Uh, because we do get to see the Horizon Lab scientists. They try to go back in the past just to prove that this guy, you know, um, Miguel's grandfather, is not a good guy because he tried to pretty much ruin the future, I guess, by... Um, destroying the Parker particles because he got angry at Horizon Labs because he didn't get a promotion. Um, and that's pretty much what's going on. Um, Superior Spider-Man acts like pretty much an asshole to MJ. MJ's like, I need to talk to you. He's like, not now, woman. So, you know, we, we're getting the same type of superior stuff we've been getting. Um, and of course now that, um, I can't think of the guy's name from Horizon Labs, but, uh, Grungy, I think his name is? Yeah, uh, Grady. He goes back to the past just to prove that, um, Miguel's grandfather did something with the P uh, Parker particles and that's destroying the present. Um, now there's all these other particles in the present because he went back in the past. So what's going to happen with that? I don't know. Will this affect um, the future somehow? Because Miguel has to um, protect the future by going in the past and that's why he's even in the past is protect the future. And that's pretty much what happens. And uh, there's particles around. And that's it. Yeah, it's kind of a confusing issue. Like, even describing it, it's kind of a confusing issue of everything going on. There's a lot going on here. Um, I still thought it was a, a solid issue. You know, I think there's a lot going on in a good way. Um, I thought this was a lot better than the last issue. Um, it felt less divided. Um, it, was, it felt more integrated with, uh, with the Spider-Man 2099, uh, but still didn't love it. You know, I'm still not, I really don't care about Spider-Man 2099, and this, this story arc is not making me care for him. Uh, but at least the ending feels like something's going on, more people are finding out that Superior is being an asshole for some sort of reason, and they actually want to find out exactly why. So I think that's interesting. Um, and then also we get that, the stories of the Green Goblin story too. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I still like the story, but again, a lot of stuff are going on here in this issue. Um, the art is still pretty good, uh, so I am going to give this a 3.5, just because they're cluttering a lot of story into one. Uh, but there's some cool things that happen here. Again, getting closer to people figuring out that Peter might not actually be Peter. Um, him 
actually being on the bottom, finally, him being on a low, saying, oh, you know, I lost Horizon, I'm fired from that, so he, he's kind of on the bottom where Peter usually is, uh, so I kind of like seeing Superior a little upset. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give this a 3.5. Honestly, I was originally going to give it a 4 star uh, rating, but talking about it, I think there's a lot, too, maybe a little bit too much going on in this issue to actually enjoy all the elements that are going on. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give this a 3.5. Hope you guys enjoyed. I um, still think you should pick it up. We'll see where the series goes and hopefully where the story arc goes. But yeah, a lot of things going on here. I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for comic, you know, and the right situations. And don't forget to like me on Facebook. I'll see you guys later.